Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 36th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now in this tutorial we're going to get back to our discussion on logical operators and uh, learn to use the OR operator in our shell scripts. So what I'm going to do is I have my text editor here and I've already saved this file in my home folder given it the name OR and the extension SH. And uh, what this script file is going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter a character and then check whether one character has been input or more than one character has been input. And if one character has been input, then it would check whether the character is a vowel or if it is a consonant and it would display appropriate message in either case. Right. So it's going to be a simple uh, script, but it's going to uh, illustrate the concept of OR operators to us properly. So that's why I've chosen this example. And uh, to see if uh, the number of characters uh, that have been input is one or uh, if uh, the number is greater than one, we prepared a script file in the previous tutorial and I'm going to use that code. So I'll simply copy it and paste it in my new file. And I'll have to make a few modifications to this code. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user to, you know, just stick to lowercase characters because I'm going to, you know, uh, prepare the script to handle just lowercase characters. I can, you know, uh, prepare it to handle uppercase characters as well. But, you know, that would just increase the complexity a tad bit. And that's not what I want. Right. So I'm not going to do that. And um, I'll take away the statement because I don't want to just display a message that a character has been entered. Instead, I want to do something uh, meaningful and that is to see if uh, the character is a wall or something else. So in order to test, I'll have to obviously use the square brackets and within the square brackets, I would have to check my variable value for each of uh, the walls known. That is A, E, I, O and U. Right. So we'll have to obviously write uh, A E I O U. We'll have to write in five uh, test conditions within our square brackets. And uh, the first one is going to be for A. And uh, the next one is going to be for E. The next one for I. The next one for O. And the next one for U. So all five vowels have been covered here A, E, I, O, and U. And since we want any one of these cases to evaluate to true to get inside the if block, I'm going to use the OR operator or the hyphen O symbol between my tests. Hyphen O and hyphen O. So, okay, that seems correct to me. And uh, I'm going to make this an if statement. So I'll put the if keyword here, right? And now I'll, uh, you know, really explain this to you. What would happen is dollar var would be compared to the lowercase uh, alphabet A. And if this case would evaluate to true, then all these cases would not be uh, considered and we would get inside the if block, right? So basically what the OR operator does is it instructs the shell to execute one or more of the test conditions that have been specified and if any of the test conditions return an exit status value one or uh, uh, you know evaluate to true then just can get inside the if block or do whatever you've been asked to do but you know I mean if uh, this would fail then it would execute this test and if this would pass then you know all the other tests would not be considered but if this would fail then it would get here if this would fail then it would get here and this would if, if this test would fail, it would get here only if all the previous tests have been failed. And if this test would also fail, well, in that case, we won't get inside the if block, but we would get inside the else block, right? So uh, inside the if block, we're not going to do much. We're just going to use echo to display a simple message like uh, you entered a vowel and uh, in the else block, We'll uh, display another message using echo, of course, and uh, that would be you didn't enter a uh, vowel, right? And I'll close the inner if block by using the keyword fi. Save the script file and let me check. Uh, okay, seems correct to me. So I'll bring my terminal up and I'll execute the script using sh or dot sh. Now, firstly, if I would uh, enter a bunch of characters, 
and press the enter key that it tells me invalid input and that's because uh, this condition here it has failed and we have got inside the else block right but if uh, there's one character something like L then it tells me that it is in a wall because L indeed is in a wall but let me clear the screen if I would ex execute the script with the input A then it, it would tell me that it is a wall. If I would execute it with E again, I is a wall, O is a wall, and uh, oops, and uh, U is also a wall. But if I would execute the script with the input D, then it would tell me that it is a wall. So there you go. I'm uh, sure you people have got the message behind the script and uh, what it intends to do and how it does it. And um, once again, the OR operator is different from the AND operator. The AND operator requires all the test conditions to evaluate to true, whereas the OR operator requires any one of the test conditions that have been mentioned in the square brackets to evaluate to true, right? So that's uh, the difference. And both these operators are very important, and we will be studying them uh, in uh, greater detail uh, as we move along in this course. But for the time being, this is all the information that you need. And uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one where we'll uh, discuss something interesting again. Um, uh, thank you again for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel.